Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, I will be explaining you about typography. Typography is the art and technique of arranging and designing text to make it visually appealing and readable. Before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications of my channel updates. So let's get started. Select the text tool and type a text. I have used Poppins font and the style bold, but you can use any font of your choice. Let's scale this a bit. To modify this text using the anchor points, first you need to right click on the text and click on create outlines to convert the text to a vector shape. Select direct selection tool. You will see the anchor points around the text, which means now you can easily modify the text. You can also see the curve points. You can click and drag to make the corner smooth. Ok, let's undo this. You can even select individual curve points and make curve just like this. I also select these points of letter Y. Drag and see how smooth the corner becomes. Likewise, I repeat the same with the letter P. This is how you modify the text and make the corner smooth. Let's undo this again. Now what I am going to do is to select the bottom anchor points of the letter T using direct selection tool and using shift and down arrow key, I just move the anchor points like this. Let's make some changes to letter H. Using direct selection tool, select these anchor points and using shift and up arrow key, just move it up like this. Again, I select these anchor points and using shift and down arrow key, I just move the anchor points like this. Interesting, isn't it? Now, I will continue modifying few alphabets using the anchor points. Now, you can also use some graphical elements to this text. I use the rectangle tool to create some extra elements like this. Duplicate and make it on the other side as well. I just make it a bit smaller. See how amazing the text looks like. Okay, let's keep this aside. This time, let's type a sentence. Resize the text, transforming concepts into visual masterpieces. This sentence looks quite boring, so let's make it visually appealing and readable. Using text tool, type transforming. Resize the text and change the style to light. I duplicate this text and retype the word concepts. Let's change the font style to bold. I will make it a bit bigger and place it here. Duplicate this text once again and type the word into. Make it a bit smaller like this and place it here. Likewise, I will be typing the text individually and do the placement accordingly. Just watch and follow the steps. I want to fill this gap with some shape to make this text layout more interesting. Using rectangular tool, I just create a shape like this. Let me resize this a bit. Also add another rectangle shape like this. To make this text layout colorful, select text and apply color just like I am doing. Looks nice. Well, select this and group it. Keep it aside.
type a text again. Let's say text savvy bytes. Scale it down a bit. Go to object menu. Scroll down. Select envelope distort and you will see three options. Make it warp, make with mesh and make with top object. Let's click on mesh with warp option. You will see the change in the shape of the text and also warp option pops up. In warp panel, click on the style. You will see so many ready-made styles. Select each style, you will see the changes in the text. You can also change the parameters of the style and see the changes. Here you will see two options. Horizontal, this is to be selected when you are using horizontal tab tool. Vertical, means you need to select this option when you are using vertical text tool. Click on OK. If you want to remove this effect, again go to object menu, envelope distort and click on release. Deselect the text first and then select the shape and delete. If you want to apply another style, Go to object menu once again, envelope the start and click on mesh with warp. You can change the style and adjust its parameter. Click on OK. If you again want to remove the style, go to object menu, envelope the start and click on release. Deselect the text first and then select the shape and delete. Now let's click on Make with Mesh option. In Envelope Mesh panel window, you will see rows and columns. There are three rows and three columns. You can also increase or decrease the values. Make sure that your preview is checked or else it won't show you the real-time preview. Click on OK. Using Direct Selection tool, select the mesh points and drag as I am doing. You can select each mesh point at a time to do the changes. If you want to get rid of this shape, then go to the object menu, envelope distort and click on release. Deselect the text and then select the shape and delete. There is one last option under envelope distort is make with top object. For this, you need to create a shape. For now, I just make an oval shape using ellipse tool. Make with top object option will fit the text inside the shape. But there is one condition. Text should always be behind the shape. Now select both the text and the shape. Go to the object menu, envelope distort and click on make with top object. See how the text fits inside the oval shape that I have created. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, let me create a heart shape first using pen tool. If you don't know how to create shape using pen tool, please click on the link above to watch the tutorial on pen tool. Once the heart shape is done, let's type a text. Say, love. Notice that the text is above the shape. What did I tell earlier? Text should always be behind the shape. So right click on the text, arrange and click on send to back. Select both, go to object menu, envelope distort and click on make with top object. Now see how the text fits inside the shape. I want to change the text color. I select the text and try to change the color. The text color does not change. What you need to do is to first select the text, go to the object menu and click on expand. In expand panel window, make sure both the options are checked and click on OK. Some error you might find in the text after doing expand. If this is visible, then go to window and click on pathfinder. In the panel window, click on unite to get rid of the overlapping shapes. Now you can change the color of the text. See, I need to give a sharp shadow behind the text. Then you just duplicate the text 
change the color to black. Right click on the text and go to arrange and click send to back. Now place the text just like this. Okay then, let's select this text, group it and keep this aside. Let's make a circle. In the tool palette, I click on eraser tool. Right click and you will see scissor tool and knife tool. Let me explain these tools before I continue working with the text. Okay, the eraser tool. You can see the size of the eraser over the cursor. You can increase or decrease the size using open curly bracket and close curly bracket on your keyboard. With the eraser tool, just click and drag over the shape like this. You see the shape is been divided into two parts with a gap in between. Let's undo this and try with the scissor tool. Just click over the path and again click on the other side of the path of the shape. Using selection tool, if you drag the shape, you will see that it has been separated into two parts. Undo this and let's check the knife tool. Click and drag over the shape just like I am doing. Now move the shape and see that it has been divided into two parts just like eraser tool but with no gaps. Let's undo this and I hope you all came to know the usage of these three tools. Now let's select eraser tool, click and drag over the shape like this. Let's type a text. Duplicate this text and type something else say design. Let's change the color of the text and you will notice that it is in front of the shape. So right click, arrange and click on send to back. Now let's select the graphic text and the top shape. Go to the object menu, envelope this dot and click on make with top object. Now see how the text fits inside the shape. Now let's select design text and the next shape. Go to the object menu, envelope this dot and click on make with top object. Wow, looks great. Now the last thing is to do to go to object menu once again and click on expand. In expand panel window, select both the options and click OK. Again you see the issue with the text. Just go to the Pathfinder and click on Unite. Done. So, in today's lesson, you all have got an idea on how to arrange and design the text to make it more visually appealing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be back with some interesting videos soon. Till then, bye.